Mnemonic for causes of solitary pulmonary nodule is cash please. C for cancer. A for abscess. S for solitary metastasis. H for hematoma. P for pseudotumor. L for lymphoma. E for echinococcus. Diroflaria emittens. Microflary. A for actinomycosis and fungal. S for sequestration and E for eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis. So 60% of all solitary pulmonary nodules are benign in areas where there is infectious agent, especially fungi, that causes solitary lung nodule. The percentage of benign lesions increases. Factors increasing the chances of malignancy include the history of cigarette smoking, age 45 years, male gender, respiratory symptoms, and history of cancer elsewhere. Factors that increases the chances that the nodule is benign include the patient coming from the area with high incidence of histoplasmosis and coccidomycosis. Diroflaria emittens is a rare parasitic infection seen in the pet owners, people working in, with animals such as flarial worms. Adults with parasites, uh, mainly of the chambers of the right heart uh, and pulmonary artery, Microflaria can be carried through the lungs. So I'll repeat the um, mnemonic for the causes of solitary pulmonary nodule is cash, please. C for cancer, A for abscess, S for solitary pulmonary metastasis, and H for hematoma, P for pseudotumor, L for lymphoma, E for echinococcus, A for actinomyces, and S for sequestration, and E for eosinophilic granulomatous disease with polyangiitis. Thank you.